Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developer series. My name is Rickums and I'm one of the main developers of Mine Colonies. I'm here on our Patreon server, a bunch of Patreons, and currently waiting also for Sam Letters to come on. I'm also seeing that our citizens are currently mourning, so probably someone died fairly recently. I really hope it's... It's not Connor, and I really hope it's not Fortune either. I'm going to say everyone hi. Hi, Super Minix. Hi, Garfield. Hi, John. Hi, Tinty Tots. Um, hi, Greg. Hi, Wizzy. Very impatient. I blame Wizzy for being impatient. Hi, Ross. Um, hi, Chef. And hi, Bartolomeo. How are you doing? The miner died, maybe? I'm very worried about Fortune. Okay, Fortune is fine. I'm going to check on the miner now. Could have been the miner, truly. Hi, Luna, as well. <laughs> um, we've continued our efforts to improve um, performance related things. In mine colonies today as well so we've worked on at the moment the builder when he creates the list in the page 2 of the building okay the miner is fine too uh, when the builder creates the list on page 2 that is all done in one single tick and we want to avoid that so that is uh, something that is going to roll out as the next update relatively soon together with the combat update by some add-ons as well. Yeah, we're still waiting for Fortune to fix that building there. I don't have those doors on purpose like that because then I don't have those work door issues. So I'll have to fix the config but I have to restart for that to take effect I guess so I didn't do that yet to take some food to our cook and hopefully he has some potatoes for me again nope out of potatoes still here very disappointing the one is here is working the Garta 4 uh, we need to make some white concrete. I think we are fine on white terracotta. I'm going to make the white concrete first. Um, that's relatively easy to get. Um, Corails is back. Welcome Peric Nick and welcome Purple Cow as well that recently just subscribed. I got a phantom head but that's definitely more fancy than my enderman head. Yes. Mm. White, white. We need bones. I think we have bones up here. So I think it's eight each. So we need like only one. Make three. White die. I put this here back. And we need to get some sand and gravel. Sand and gravel. Sand. Oops. Like right here. Gravel and the white dye to make the white concrete powder. I can put all of that bag. Even a bunch of additional sand. We've got enough of it with us. This one too. Okay. Just need the hammer. And we can place it there in the water and get some. Um Yeah. It's back. Um the mod is back on curse. And he appears to be back as well. Um So we're we're seeing um 
There we go. There we go. On 24. We can bring that to the builder. I think the remaining items we might all have. And meanwhile, all our citizens are still mourning. Although our builder here seems to be, yeah, fortune started working again. And our builder here too. Okie dokie. So what are you, what are you stuck on? The cut sandstone. You need cut sandstone. Okay. Glowstone. I can bring you the glowstone as well. I don't think we have the these quantities of glowstone in our colony. In our warehouse, I mean. Um as far as I know, um the Corail's grave got blocked on curse because he crashed the mod, another mod that was interfering with his mod crashing, another mod, etc. And that basically leading to him leaving because of his mod getting blocked. As far I, that's as far as I know it. Cut, so you do need cut sandstone. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's get started. We should be fine now in terms of cut sandstone. Oh, more than that even. 193. Need another stack of that. Upgrade, you said. So, nether brick fence. I'm sure we don't have enough either. And white bats. Okay, we got enough for the th for the white bats, so that's perfect. Um, prob probably, um, Curse just told him to remove the, um, version that was crashing and then they would re-accept it. And potentially, he was contacted to add it back then. People contacted him and told him they need his mod. <laughs> and he then added it back. But I'm st just speculating with that. I knew that there were a few people trying to get him back because their packs were similarly broken as ours. Um, I do need the nether bricks here. What was the nether brick fence recipe again? No, no, that's different things here. Nether brick fence. Okay. Normal nether bricks on the sides. It's a relatively costly recipe. Here, nether bricks. How many of that do we need? Okay, we have enough. <coughs> yeah, today we got a bunch of people online again. So TPS is not very great. Um, delivering the defense. Then we got basically everything for that guard tower 4 upgrade. That is basically that one Sam letters placed wrongly. Oh yes, yeah, so, uh, some add-ons Sam said that he was going to upload it. You're there? Yes. Hi. Hi. It was fine. And my gun tower was completely fine. You killed it now. <laughs> um. It, yeah, it was it was definitely not fine. Um, you uploaded a new performant version today. Is that the same performant version we were using for a while testing? 
or is that has that does yeah. that have a few? I think one small adjustment or so I made. Yeah, but, but it's it because run me on our server for a while. And it's because <laughs> we're basically the alpha testers, not only of mine colonies, but especially of performance, because that is um, server side only. We can just replace that regularly and check how things behave. Yeah, and it's always good to test that with a uh, live server. Um, yes. Did you did you add the fixes for the villagers to that? Yeah. At least the fix for one of the villagers things. Not sure if they are lagging our server with the one. Do we have that on the server right now already? Hey, uh, yes. So I did fix the thing with, with the racks in the next update, so that might also help an uh, additional piece. Hmm. I guess tile entities in general are a substantial piece of... Mm, a bit. I think like... Now of the chunk mm -hmm. um, loading and storage speed. I mean, writing a block to NB uh, to writing the blocks and the chunk might be super easy to NBT, but the tile entities have a bunch of their extra work. They use more. And welcome, menu A to our stream as well. Can you say his, his name again? It's menu A. It's his yeah. name. Still didn't understand. I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> okay, that one here is getting finished. We're finishing here. Our stone mate, oh, our blacksmith finally. And then we're here ready already. And welcome the only old man Chenkins as well to our stream. Um. Yes, we released a new 116 version to our Patreons today and are going to release another 116 version to our Patreons after the stream that includes the update that includes the J integration again. Um, I also finally, for all the builders, especially Aravan might be interested in that, I made um, um, nether colonies possible now. Um, so colonies are, will be now possible as well in uh, regions that do not have day and night cycles simply by taking a calculation on the server time. Which basically I, I've, I don't use the world day cycle at all anymore. I replaced all our, our checks with that. There's what a difference in the, in the nether. You can't skip the night. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, that's the one. That's an issue. Yes. And welcome Silint as well. Um, but you don't have to skip the night uh, in the nether as well because there are no additional mobs yet, <laughs> and it's not darker than usual either. But yes, uh, citizens will be sleeping for a while in the nether. But it gives it's probably even great because it gives you a s decent time to just run around in the nether and do exploring. Like you can do it half of the time explore and half of the time take care of your colony. <laughs> Does the uh, jumping on rooftops increase the building speed? No, it's, it's, it's just my need to to move. <laughs> uh, see, we got here some nether chunk back there still. Oh, yeah, he even hit that one. Didn't expect that. I hit both with my arrow. I'm not even surprised. Um, no, we do not have infinite resources on, so all the things we've built here 
Um, we've built gathering stuff the win vanilla way. The builder has all yes, the blocks Lord. she has to place, basically. <laughs> At a research when the player is like nervously walking around the builder. Are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? The builder gets faster. <laughs> but then we have to make that there's a random chance that he fails to place a block as well. <laughs> or gets annoyed and stops completely. Um, yay! Um, I did add climbing support to those new nether vines as well. Although not... Yes, I did. Not fully, maybe. I would have to double chest that. No, I think I didn't add it completely. But yes, I fixed that they don't crash the pathfinding in the nether at least. Um, and, and I added lumberjack detection to the to the uh, lumberjack as well in the nether. So the lumberjack now detects the nether trees just as it would normal trees, which I think fairly interesting um, hi Margo how are you doing and welcome madman patty to the stream as well I always thought you already followed us okay so I think Oswin seems to be a great he's very focused Owen and Ellie are very unfocused people. Um, our little dwarf strong. here. Uh, and we can teach the recipes we need now. We probably need an ink. Um, an nugget recipe. And then we need all the armor recipes. No, what's the name? Chainmail. Yes, here. Chainmail helmet. Then chainmail chest. Then chainmail leggings. Then chainmail boots. Then then we want an iron sword recipe. Then um, we need a pickaxe. Probably a better stone pickaxe recipe. Then shovel, stone shovel recipe, and finally a stone hoe recipe. And then we can add an iron pickaxe mm -hmm. recipe. Mm -hmm. So the idea I'm, ha I'm having, I'm teaching both the stone and the iron pickaxe, but it is very important that you add first the stone recipe and then the iron recipe because you want the iron recipe only to to be used oh uh, <laughs> that that was me that was not the gas <laughs> that was cobble that was cobble I, th I hope it was cobble i'm going to double check on that uh, great <laughs> Um, no, the new update does not have the witch guard yet. Shirley is still working on that. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> right away. That was not nice. I'm going to upgrade that one here directly too. I'm a little bit impressed that my bow actually one-shot you. <laughs> what? The recipes didn't get added or did... They should have been added. Should have, should have been added. Yeah, we should. Um, potentially it's just slow. Yeah. But you, but you didn't die far away, right? No. Like five car blocks off. Yeah, that, that would be horrible. Yeah, some people had that issue and we are not sure why. Um, the idea of having it um, twice, like to the order is important. 
that is defect because what you want is actually is not always when a pickaxe is needed an iron pickaxe is used so if the iron pickaxe is the first recipe he's never going to make um, the stone pickaxe and is always going to make the iron pickaxe yeah I'm going to use planks iron ingots for my inventory I'm getting out of patience here um, so that's why it's important to make that distinction Um, okay, now it's added them and the shield. It's probably just uh, a little bit slow. Um, by the way, they are in that order here in the list. And that's why you have buttons here you can use to order the recipes. I think um, performance is skipping some colony update ticks yeah might be a pretty long to guess i what i've wondered we do make all the few updates of the colonies are all in the same ticks they're not random right like at the moment all the colony view ticks that happen every x ticks that can happen every X ticks. They are sent in the same tick for all colonies, right? No. No? Because our uh, ticking transitions of our state machine are pretty smart and are using an, a random initial tick. And they use a uh. random initial tick? Yeah, so that they don't have that problem where how, how many Ticking different the ones are there? Puts them at the same tick. Like a random initial tick between 0 and 20? Nah, between 0 and uh, tick rate. When it's got a uh, tick rate of 20, it's between 0 and 20. Yes, the, the, same, is for the, the same is for the armor. Um... The thing, the, the thing is actually it's because we do not have simulation yet in our request system. And what that means, in fact, is that when um, a request can not be fulfilled, it will get stuck. Let's say you have a recipe for, um, let's say, you make sticks out of dark oak planks and you have a second recipe for sticks made out of birch planks. You will always use the first one of the both, of those two. And if the warehouse doesn't have the, the ingredient for the first, it will still try to make the first. Because we do not have simulation to check ahead in the system if the next thing exists, basically. Um, if there is not enough in the warehouse, then it will go directly to the grafter. Okay, that's combat. Civilian. What do we have here running at the moment? Okay, stone mason and stone smeltery are both running here. Oh, you just started the stone mason one, right? Yeah. Of course, we need one. In this if there was enough all along, then it shouldn't go to the crafter. Then it can only be that the warehouse is at the moment unloaded and it can't find it in the racks because the racks are unloaded. That's That's possible. Yes, you can mix um, vanilla villagers with mine colonies villagers without a problem. We don't do anything with uh, vanilla villagers. We kinda 
completely independent of it. Also, on purpose, so that we do not interfere with other mods potentially. That would change villages or add or remove things around villain mechanics. One of the kind of philosophical things we do is try to not intervene with anything any other mod does such that we can we don't have any problems with any other mod so even if there another mod has a problem with us it's because they change something vanilla does which creates issues for us and not the other way around and hi house of doggers how doggers are you doing it's getting night already we do want to upgrade the library as well, we've said. What does the next level cost? Some bookshelves. And the rest is relatively cheap. Great. Start that upgrade. Yeah. Um, but that is not a mine colonies issue per se. That's a vanilla issue. And you have nice guards. Illagers are not very strong, I have to say. I think that should not be a problem. Let's see some more those orbs around here. It's fairly dark in these alleys here too. For me, like the perfect mod mob spawning opportunities here. There we go. Um, that's a silent gear thing. Let me just remove my death points quickly. That, that there we go I might have broken those for the secret door then <laughs> dum -de -dum. let's see if our, our underground passage we got a nice underground passage to the fishermen. Seems to be working nice. Got a fish here? Yes. Great. And it's day already. <laughs> so yeah, um... We're probably going to release the new 116 version on next Friday. Although I did hear that uh, 116.2 is pretty close as well. Does it only seem for me? Or did Minecraft uh, kind of like Borg the deadline badly? And then they said, oh, it's 116.2. The rest of the things. <laughs> the Java edition team it seems. So this is 116 and then do these two patches after. Yeah I think I think they were like looking at Minecraft code and were like where can we add more code that lacks an appropriate and then they were like, I don't know, I don't know. And then they're like, oh what? We have to implement the remaining changes for 116? But we had so many important things to do. You were told us to break uh, Minecraft Java Edition so that people can't play it anymore. <laughs> well, I'm sure they make more money off Bedrock, so who knows? Yeah, in, in Bedrock they have those stores. Although I could imagine that um, the... Uh, I'm sure. Because in Bedrock you have to use realms, right? You can't use 
um, normal normal servers. It's not something you can set up. While in Java Edition, you can't yeah. set up your own server easily, right? Yeah. I no the bedrock uh, the bedrock player base is the biggest by far. As far as I know, cobble, cobble, and more iron ore. Um, because all these console players, that's a huge community as well. Stairs, wall, make wall first. As I have read once that the bedrock one is bigger. I might be mistaken though, but I read it once. Because of all the consoles and especially because of Pocket Edition. Let's get some two iron ore and a bunch more of that cobblestone. Yeah, exactly. All the all the mobile ones are bedrock. That's why they add a huge amount of additional ones. Yeah, I would also say that the Java edition is quite surely the more mature one of, of each of them. What was the other block he needed? He needed cobblestone. And I forgot the rest. I'm going to have to double check. Yes, I also agree. Bedrock. Oh, uh, iron ore, yes. There you go. I can help you with that. What's it today then? Iron ore. Right away. Oh. Well, can cancel those. And those. But the rack and the torch getting from the warehouse, that's perfect. Can bring the two iron ore now. I didn't know that there are non-realm servers that one I didn't know you know they have those realm servers um, I, I saw a guy making a comparison I'm going to do from my best uh, work for you. Java edition to rail uh, to to the normal to the bedrock edition he made a realm server on each of them and launched it for people and had it like just public um, not without any restrictions and the uh, Java edition server built a relatively nice community while the um, bedrock edition server kind of had like these anarchy server spawn which was like absolutely ridiculously griefed <laughs> so that one I guess showed a little bit the difference already between the both of them that one is supposed to bring the stuff right away. Oh, you were eating you were now you were going to the hospital that's I guess fine I guess I'm going to forgive you for that. The guard tower is almost finished in the back there. Let's check it out. Yeah, her back yeah, her back must be hurting. That is definitely not a healthy posture she's maintaining there. And I guess we can start talking about closing the walls here accordingly um, I'm still waiting for the pretzel update to hit the update with the additional channels did not hit yet I'm massively disappointed although they are I think based in the uh, west coast in the US so things 
need a little bit longer, I guess, for us here. Um, okay. So I guess we're going to have to dismantle that part of the wall. Yeah, they're grieving. Someone must have died. Your guards are killing citizens? Some items, how can guards kill citizens? Uh, not at all. I think we even have code that prevents guards de de dealing damage to people of their own colony. As far as I remember. Yeah, I think they should be all on the same team and can't deal One, damage two, to each other. Five. Oh, That's perfect. Weird. That would be very weird. Like, guards hitting each other is normal. They but, should not damage each other. But they don't damage each other. Ah, yeah, those are the... Do you have a combat academy, Madman? Because in the combat academy, those guards... Those guards kind of fight with each other, but also without dealing any damage. Yeah, recalling I all. They may be able to attack citizens when fighting back. I think f fighting back targets when someone else hit you before are always better. Uh, but I think they have them like a damage detection, where it's like, is the entity of my own colony don't deal damage? As far as I know, there's. Yeah. Code for that. that. Go. So and that probably going to remove that one here again. That's fine. Hi Strothaler, how are you doing? Yeah, I guess in general uh, Minecraft being widespread is a very good thing. I think it's a definitely much more constructive game than a lot of other games out there. Um, especially looking at all the shooters etc. Just clean up here a little bit. Make that here a little bit more conform. <laughs> Constructive. No, the pun was not, not intended. But the uh, need find. <laughs> From now on, that pun will be intended. Go down here a little one row less as well. <coughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, I need the bread. I need to win you. Almost finished. 97%. Ok. 
Okay. So we did want to have this a little bit more like this. Potentially we want this to be even stairs. So like stairs here. We get some, some sandstone stairs. Can we build a crush I guess? No. Or was it after our stone mason? Only after the stone mason, yes. So it will take a while till we get sensible. Yes. And a while until we get some clay chest as well. And we finished the guard tower level 4. You can give me those here back. Can put those here. There we go. Okay, and I'll just need the other side as well. And that tower is then fully, almost fully integrated. I need to do that side here too. Aravin is not getting visitors, she's complaining. It takes a while, but then just spawn. They do show up in the tavern though. Yes, yeah. not in the town hall. Yes, welcome to the colony, Foxloni. <laughs> okay. Then I need one here at the border as well. And then connect them accordingly. So this one here is going to be five. It's kind of disappointing. No, I, I, I can't do this. This is against every rule of symmetry. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, good idea. I can make it a gate. That works. That works. No gates unfinished yet. We don't have gate box, box yet. <laughs> um, yes, good idea. Gates, gates can be against the rule of symmetry because they're gates. So I can live with that. Thanks for the suggestion. Saved me. You saved me. Okay. Now wait. Um, here. Here. Just gonna close that. And then we do want this like here as well. Sandstone. Want to make some chiseled sandstone though. And we have some. Not enough though. Need some more. Then we make some chiseled sandstone down here. Then we only need some doors for the in between space. Like this. Yes. Then we need some doors, dark oak doors, perfect. And set up some extra torches, great! Then, finished. On the other side we need some torches too. Do I have some more torches with me? I do, great. And one here, great. Then and we can, we have to add a multi-block gate there as well. Yes. Um, hiring one of the guards there as well. Oh, what a great day for us. And we I do need to craft some bows and bring them to the warehouse as well. Okay, our economy is progressing again. Got the first building finished. Now the second building finished the stream. Um, 
we get some string and then we create a set of bows. Potentially also um, string, string, here. A bunch of fishing rods, probably a good idea as well in general. Need some sticks and planks and more sticks. Um, maybe like a, a bunch of them. Eight. Looks like a good idea. And then maybe like five fishing rods or so. Great. Can drop off those here and can drop off the remaining amount at the warehouse yeah we do need the Fletcher as well yes definitely yeah I want to use yeah we need um, a bigger level of outside defenses I have decided against using the classical Space Wars styled ones because they only are one thick and we want to have a three thick outer wall at least because I we remember we used these sandstone walls as well in the last series and yeah enemies broke through them like butter so I definitely want to have a three thick wall Now why do them, they keep turning? Yeah, ask Vanilla about this. They coded stupid things. Although that should be fixed in the newest Forge version when we update. <laughs> Two guards sitting together sleeping. And that is unlucky. <laughs> they must have fallen asleep together. Yeah. Uh, what did I want Back to do? Back. I wanted to check on the miner. Miner needed something. Do we have a miner that didn't die yet? Yes, our miner did not die at all. We have one die. My, no, the first miner died. And the second miner did not die so far. Are you sure he is actually working? Yes. Regularly, N asks yeah. for new tools <laughs> you need a diamond pickaxe even okay I gotta get yeah. diamonds we have maybe some diamonds here I can like borrow no nope. okay I got some diamonds be right back uh, have those here as well What? My shovel cuts cactus quicker than my axe. <laughs> this serious. Okay, it only works for cactus, it doesn't work for normal wood. Yeah, morning. But in, in, in general, I do um, want to add the, the families part in a future update. Like we had someone attempting to make an issue uh, of a future request today but blatantly fa failing with it <laughs> but in general uh, he was asking to add uh, like families in it so that you can see who is related with who and when people are mourning it's of that family um, yes that is planned that is planned I want to add the exact families and then the um, pos possibly with a family tree 
and then the family is going to mourn and to be fair the family and the other people living in the same house as the person are going to mourn potentially even those working the same job so if a student dies all students mourn I think that's a good idea yes it's on purpose citizens mourn on purpose so that you don't kill your citizens to get new ones before we had that, that dynamic people would kill their citizens in lava and all kind of other reasons fairly regularly because they were not high level enough or something like that so mourning um, is kind of the uh, the uh, the trade-off to to force you to not do that or if you do that you're punished for doing so diamond pickaxe yes <laughs> Diamonds, diamonds, yes. One, one day when we added quests to our citizens, if you get to low happiness, then they won't allow you to do anything in the colony. And you have to do quests for them to get better reputation also. Yeah. Um, yeah, in, in general, the idea was also in the future to add dynamics if the happiness goes way too low. The citizens are going to start joining other cities with higher happiness. <laughs> Ray HDHD comes. What yeah. Can I do for you? Right. Yeah, we. S I sometimes joke that if my mother would have ever taken me to do one of these ADHD tests. Um, no, it's not a lumberjack issue, it's a pork issue. Uh, the trees generate weirdly. I, I would have passed the, the H ADHD test perfectly. No palace cube. That could be like the final, the final result. Yes. If the happiness goes too low, like uh, some Adam said, the colony is going to kick you out, and you will have to do like quests. Yeah, my mother never had me tested on this, although. I'm glad she didn't. Else it would have probably given me that medicine stuff. I really did, don't need it. I never needed it. I'm lucky. Well, some people can't concentrate without. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess here. Because the, the these things create so highly and dynamic things. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. I see there's two more here. The voiding is better now. That's good. 171 Gia. 171. There we go. More trees growing weirdly here, I see. Fixing it. That one is fine. 
I think we got all of them fixed now. There's one left here. Wait. Done. Fixed. I got so many oak saplings now. I need to dump them off here. Oh boy, we got 17 people on that. 17, wow. Okay. Two pages. <laughs> yes, sir. And... Yeah. Welcome 2001. And thanks for the raid. Yeah, the, the voiding issue should be vastly improved now. Yeah, there is some work issues with that. Uh, welcome small fries as well. And I forgot to welcome second breakfast. You must be a hobbit. But I can't complain because I take a second breakfast as well. <laughs> um, oh, that's the, the birch um, quark lumberjack growth. Um, okay, what can we give here? Needs a bunch of cobblestone. Um, let's check if we have enough of that. Nope. So let me get some cobblestone for you. Don't you have like some granite here around in your building? No, you don't. Okay. I get you cobblestone. I do have the list here with me, don't I? I do. Is it time for elevenses? What is elevenses? Yeah, I'm going to get all the oak logs now back from the library. I imagine that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put, go those two. Um, okay. Oh, I need a bunch of cobblestone. Okay. A bunch more than that, even. That is now only for the standard cobblestone. Not even enough. Um, uh, it's after second breakfast but before lunch. Yeah, that one I don't have. That one only hobbits have. Dum -de -dum. Ah, here. Can get a bunch more stacks of that. And then we can start crafting. We do need cobblestone slabs, stairs, and walls. Oops. It's more than only 40. We need 80. More than that. Okay. Trading another one. It was not a lot of slabs, so that should be fine. Um, wall we need still. Okay. And then we need a stack here to make walls. That's not enough. So yes, that's enough of cobblestone. Let's deliver that right away. And the delivery man thing looking in another direction while walking. If that is... Some, Sam, is that related to... Performant? Mm, Citizens? I'm, I'm not know. sure. I don't think so. Okay, oak fence, oak door. But our citizens have some uh, random looking door from vanilla, which makes them look at maybe entities and such. Yeah, it could be the van a vanilla thing. Here we got oak fence in here. 
And we need Ogador as well. Uh, not a lot though. We have to make always a few extra for future build requests. Are you going to get uh, anything delivered by the warehouse? No. Nope. Okay, glass pane and red and black carpet. Upgrade. Is anything stopping you from working? No. Because I think a bunch of those bookshelves he should be getting back as well. He's going to mine there. Replace. Oh, did you remove the recruitment button now? It's only in your next update, right? Um, only in the guard update. I don't think I even removed it there. <laughs> It so, exists, but has no function. So yes, um, put it on your list <laughs> to add it there to that. Um. Okay. The out of here is a bunch of coal. There we go. Smelt this here and smelt here some, some sand and put that red sandstone over here. Um, now, the red and black carpet we want next. Let me just do I have my shears? There we go. Getting all the wool here. Our sheep. There we go. It's not a lot of black carpet, so that might be just only grey wool, not black. That is very disappointing. Do we have any black carpet up here? Black wool. Three. Um, how much is it? Six. So we can do that with white as well. Um, we create eight carpet. Wait, I have to transform that to a black dye. There we go. Eight black carpet. That eighteen red. So that we should have, not here. But we have a lot of red ink, I think. But also, up there are flowers. Um, puppies. Here. 18 it was. So that's more than what we had previously. So that's 16. That is not enough what we need. We need one more batch, basically. 16, no. 18, 17, perfect, all we need. Okay, I'm going to steal a little bit of that coal, and I'm going to make some more torches out of that. And deliver them right away as well. Uh, iron for level requirements for huts it's basically it means that there should be blocks like that require some level of iron or to be there either some or something that requires iron to be mined or something like this wait I heard I read my name here Oh, ta tags currently have a problem. Currently, will be fixed in the next update. Wait, did you break them? I told you. Uh, 
I'm not sure. I think only the deco block ones, though. Oh. Only the ones of deco blocks, though. Not the ones of buildings. They shouldn't have a problem. Although the ones of the spawn colony were um, pasted before my fix for the pasting came in. Yeah. Pasting it new should work, so... Yeah, pasting it new should work. Might need to... To remove the hot dog first. Yeah, you will have to... Remove the hot block and repaste it. Yeah, the server mm. is on 115. Although we As are going to have, we are going to have a 116 server fairly soon as well, probably. How much more? A bunch more. Um, enough. Okay. And then oak bookshelves are missing. I'm going to get some bookshelves, but not all. I think we don't need as many as it says. Ah, 171. Um, yeah, the one we don't have anything for the 116 server spawn yet. If you would want to world that did your colony over I don't see um, a problem with that there we go and the books perfect just bringing that one book back then and hi Basy boy in the death colony. There we go. A visitor. Although potentially, yeah, they can't enter because all our doors are closed. Mm -hmm. I can open the door for you though. Just ring and you can open the door. Sing. So he is, yeah, he's coming here. <laughs> Oops. Hi there. <laughs> Let me bring the remaining items to the builder. Shortcut. There we go. That should be enough What's next? for Connor to finish up. Aye, another ghast screaming around. Um. The builder silk touches bookshelves in the building and upgrade stage, yes. Not in the others. I think he does at least, yes. He should. In the building and upgrade phase, not in the clear phase. I can hear a gasp screaming somewhere nearby. Mm hmm. How is it? 19% our library. Um, at the moment, they are on purpose in this in a, in a walking in a group, such that they are stronger to defend themselves. If you want them to not walk in the same group, you would need guard towers then for them. 
Um, I'm going to check the other builder how Fortune is doing with her build task at the moment. Fortune, how are you doing? She's finished. I didn't didn't get the the message that she finished. Um, yes, we are the next um, citizen styles are going to be Nordic and Asian citizens. However, um, we are currently finishing our work for that. Those are all going to be Patreon only. Yes, it's finished here. Sure does get hot in the smithy. Not sure about the quality of this iron. Can potentially already upgrade to level three here as well. Old style heads. Unsure. Um, I think the work on the um, Asian did not start yet. So that is something the artists are going then to decide on basically. To upgrade the smeltery too to level four. So I can't answer your that. But you can probably bother Carl Cerner about adding it. And he probably will then. <laughs> we'll do that then. Yeah, I guess so. With the 20 lever blocks. Oh, he placed all the 14. So he's probably requesting bookshelves now. Huh. So I have to craft the remaining bookshelves still. Um, getting more books. Here, 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 and I can put the book here, one book back, great. And bring the remaining books there to our builder. Give you the remaining ones as well. Here, great. Let me see in the cards. I'll watch your back. Okay, that is all requested to the crafter. I should all have requests to the crafter. A bunch of them have. Already delivery scheduled too. Oh, we only have two here hired. So we don't have any citizens left. Did you hire them all to the barracks? Uh, no, I, I hired one to our library. Ah, you hired an additional one to the library? Okay. And welcome Waterdoom to our stream as well. Um. What did what was I wanting to do? Ah, okay, I wanted to check on the on the blacksmith how he's doing. Oh, now that I walked away from the <laughs> from the place, we got the new citizens to hire possibly. Sure does get hot in the smithy. Okay, you got here an underground area where you already got a bunch of the things. Okay, so I guess you're waiting for deliveries of the additional stuff. Let's see if the delivery man is going to walk over relatively soon. Drinking some water quickly. Um, that one is going to have a second story, kinder. In higher levels, won't it? 
because that will give us a very nude uh, neat view over our colony the chunks are loaded delivery men couldn't find any yet coming here picking up the stuff let me check on our D men what they're up to Ah, leap of faith. They are hungry or sick or what are you guys up to? That one here got a bunch of things to do. How's the work going? Seems busy. Yes. But does doesn't have anything on her. The other demon. Also has a bunch of tasks. Uh, I could help you with that. Also not doing anything at the moment. To check on the final and third demon. We might get a next a new one then. Relatively soon as well. We got a lot of things in his list as well. Ouch. Uh, he's at least doing them something. Yeah. Oh, demon are lazy. <clears throat> Let me check it, how much compost we have in the warehouse here. Yes, it was compost. It was probably... Probably bringing back. Or thought at least he was. Couldn't it wait till Monday? Ouch. Is it now, ba is it now here? Hmm. Oh, demon doesn't appear to be working either. Yeah, so he was probably delivering to the farmer. Was it you? Weekends again. Nope. I wonder if, if our colony is now so big that it doesn't get keep loaded. Gotta do what men gotta do. We need a new pair of shears. There you go. I can help you with that. How is our farmer here? Did this? Yes, here are these seeds set. Oh, am I not good enough for you? Requested carrot and potato. We got some carrot and potato right here. Mm-hmm. It's the right time to plant. Cancel his request. Yes, the medieval skins is the people, the worker and people skins change to a slightly more medieval look. Talking about compost, we do probably want to upgrade the composter as well. Let's upgrade that one so we get bigger quantities of compost done. What can I do for you? We got six at least. Upgrade it. Oops. Uh, Build options, fortune, upgrade. There we go. Do I have now maybe enough? Nope. Okay. Hi Ninja, how are you doing? How are things going? Awful, not doing well. <sighs> dum -de dum what's the problem? Hi Brian, how are you doing? Oh. Uh, 
So here we got the demon walking. Men gotta do what men gotta Seem do. Seem to be s very slow. We need more demon. You mean we need to fix our demons so they are working properly? Very nice, Brian. <laughs> Good to hear. Oh no. I just noticed why our visitors never are sitting down in our tavern. Because they spawn behind a trapdoor and can't open it. Yeah, they can't open trapdoors. But they can't walk over the counter. No, they can't. No? Because there is... Um, how is it called? They should be able to do uh, so. Carpet on it. No, no, they can. They can. They can. You sure? Yes, I hit run and walked away, and he tried to follow me and couldn't. Oh, funny! I didn't know that. That should work, actually. Uh, I think our passing only takes two full block spaces. So if there's a carpet, it doesn't like it. I added that or now it's because we, I have added dynamic code to calculate the next block height so they also jump up snow etc yeah I know hmm. but I think they need those blocks to be clear so to have enough space to walk there what now our oh, miner died, died. That is sad. And you said he never dies. Did she die yeah. over earth? She didn't die under. She died above ground. Where is this? Two seven four eight and four five eighty. She died next to her citizen hut, by the way. Hmm. Guess we need more guards. <laughs> more guards. No, 4580 is in this direction. Okay, it's upstairs. Let me go there. Pick up the stuff she lost. We got a diamond pickaxe. There, next to the next to the lumberjack, actually, very close before entering the actual colony, with a lot of stuff on her. <laughs> uh, so we gotta get a new miner. That's. That is unfortunate. I can help you with okay. that. Okay, diamond pickaxe, iron pick, this pickaxe. Have to get some. Do you need my services bubble. today? And this stuff here. The remaining stuff should be fine around here. They drop off some of the. Uh, they should drop. Sand, no, that's fine. So, those I can give you to drop off all these ores so they get to the smelter. There we go. I think that should be fine then. Here. <laughs> Someone had a gender neutral name. That's unfortunate. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Yeah, it's it's super horrifying. I absolutely agree. Sorry, Leaf.
So and this our workers should get slow with low TPS. So the this thing here is emptying, so the demon picked up a bunch of the things, for sure at least. But um, the walking speed is relatively slow because of the performant load balancing, I think. No, that's off. That's off? Yeah. It's, so it's just the low TPS and... Yeah, 15 TPS the makes them uh, a quarter slower, right? Yeah. But basically get less movement updates. Um, dum -de -dum. Yeah. I think the problem of the delivery um, Macias is having and we're having as well is just the movement speed being slowed down due to the uh, lower TPS. Is there, was there yeah. anything in the lock? Of the, the performance log? Mm, no. Nothing good? No, it's all normal. All pretty 90% vanilla doing stupid stuff as always. Single has 70% entities and some chunk and block picks and such. So, yeah, the next update should improve a bit the my colonies ones. I do know that Silent Gear is working on an update as well to improve oh. some of things of their side. Yeah, if the warehouse is unloaded things can be assigned to the player directly. We might need a check for that in the future. Isn't it rechecking re or requests like every you know, five minutes or so? Um, only when they are in the retrying resolver. The moment they get in the final one they don't do that. Ah. Soft or they are once were always retried. Yeah, they retried for a while and then not anymore basically. Ah, that's... We got some more birch plants here. I'm just dumping some things here off. We got the cleaner backpack again. We could add one thing against um, moving slower when lagging. We could check if the server is lagging and increase our citizen speed. <laughs> so that, they would do less would movement updates, but would do larger steps. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hannah Banana. How are you doing? I feel it's getting a little bit dark inside here. Need to put some lights here. Feel a bit better. Yes. <laughs> uh, small fries just found out that the citizens, that visitors attack you when you attack the other ones. The hard way, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> you you don't mess with visitors. Uh, so thank you, Ray, for making people like what is R V? R W. What is R U, Ross? I don't know that term particularly. If you say so. A nice cooked cod. That's better. Real ah, ah. real world. It was me who made this. <laughs> I, I'm always only used to RL, like real life instead of real world. Yeah. But yes, you don't want to hit visitors. They all get aggro to you and start hitting you and do decent damage. Yeah, we try to make things realistic in general. And where things are not realistic, we plan on in the future making things realistic 
but don't have it due to time limitations. And some things we do not have realistic due to possibility limitations, let's what call it like that. For you? Some things you can't just make realistic, it's just like making the delivery man realistic would be just so horrible because he would then have to go from building to building and check if there is a task there and then bring the tasks to the warehouse for the other delivery men. I think that would be fairly terrible. <laughs> You're having fun. <laughs> Always. Yes, and we also always try to consider maintaining game balance compared to some other tech mods. <laughs> tech just mods and balance? What's that? Super powered thing. Uh, that break all other balances, other mods add. Stages. Like, like hey. first item you make from a tech mod is super power and one, and the next item you craft is super power three and ten times stronger than vanilla. Yeah. We're making some more things here for the warehouse. Oh wow! No. Don't don't come with German abbreviations. I don't think any German uses those. Germans use IRL as well. Yeah, and AFK. I, l I love that idea, Ninja. <laughs> having, having couples fight in the street and then after a bad fight, the, the workers are all day in the pub. <laughs> Spending all day in the tavern after an ugly fight. I like that. <laughs> when, I mean, we could add a chance on entity collision with another citizen to engage a fight. Like a small <laughs> chance to engage a fight, and then they don't like each other and aren't working next day or so. That's my life. No. Having my domestic life. arguments and then other citizens stop working to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, let's go fully realistic. When a mob attacks a citizen, all other citizens are going to pass by and film it with their smartphones. <laughs> that, that would be full on realism, right? <laughs> yeah. And post it online. Yeah, yeah, we do, do did have suggestions for Sundays off, etc. However, we we do want to add things like days off. Only, and we only want to add days off if we have actually gameplay elements for that. Like, if there is a day off, there must be something for citizens to do in that time. Else, it's it's boring. I was kind of shocked because it says the the visitor Mackenzie died. Uh, reminded me of the famous Mackenzie. Uh, we do have the tavern kinda but I think we do need to have something like real world element uh, like some like so that the player is happy that they take it a day off because it helps the citizen the colony or something like that the workers are going to have to start wearing masks we do have a disease system 
and I do have we I do have plans on expansion of that in the future that you can have like a kind of like a pandemic that could like spread between colonies and spread within the colony if you have too low citizen hut levels and these kinds of things There are a bunch of there are a bunch of plans in general for for the future. Like in general, what we always do is make the systems easy and um, easy to expand upon in the future, and then from there on, we're going to add yes. further things. We need. Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're going to take care that this is that this is still balanced. D don't worry. Yes, my lord. We're not going to make it more sick people than it is already. But we're going to make the sickness more realistic, if you understand what I mean. So you're going to have less here and there sick people, but here and there you're going to have more sick people at the same time. We always make sure that things stay um, playable as well. And obviously a lot of these and obviously a lot of these elements also depend on the size of the colony. So if you have a fairly small colony you won't have any of these things. And yes, at the moment, we are definitely not going to add pandemics until the current real one is over. <laughs> I think people are already having enough to do in their real lives to deal with that. That would be the wrong moment to add it. Iron ore and stone brick stuff. Don't we have the stone smelt or stone bricks yet? No. Do we have any crafters? <laughs> but do we have the stone smelter unlocked? That possibly. Uh, let me check. We don't have a sawmill yet either, do we? No, not even unlocked, I think. Damn it. Stone brick stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not, I'm not going to be insensitive. Actually, the entire disease... But the good thing that the disease mechanism we've added at the beginning of the pandemic before we knew that shit is going to be real. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to get some more cobble. I thought we have a bunch of stone somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's infested stone. But yes, um, if we add some gameplay elements like this, it is going to be in the far out future and not anything soon. Ciao, ciao, Garfield. See you around. Thanks for joining in. Okay, we are researching our stone smeltery already. Are we researching stone smeltery? Okay. Yeah, smeltery and stone base maximum. I think I don't even have stone with me here, do I? No. Red stained glass. What was the recipe again for red? I think I just need normal glass, right? Yes. Okay. That's easy. I think I do have 
some poppies with me. I just get six of these. And then I can make poppy and make the red stained glass. Yeah, we, t we told, I'm just going to say this again, we told the builders, take it easy with the university, especially the le early levels of the university should be cheap, because it's an early to mid game building, yeah, it's an it early game building, so <laughs> it should be easy for the first two levels at least, none of them heard of uh, about us, none of them. Did we listen? No, we didn't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly that. So the builder is still... Still in the progress of removing the other blocks here at the university. Yeah, no, no one... No, for your defense, no one did. No one did. And just, just to tell you, the initial wooden university, which is like the maybe smallest, was also much bigger. I had to tell Luna three times, make it even smaller, please. <laughs> Put even less blocks in it. What? Even less? I think 30, I think 30 bookshelves. Is impossible. I think 30 bookshelves for the first level is not a good idea. Oh. Okay, um, yeah. it's getting fairly late here. It's just over time. We're almost at two hours of streaming time again. Um, thanks everyone for joining in to the stream. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our stream today. We had a bunch of progress again. Got our stone, now our blacksmith upgraded there. Um, got the library at 92%. We got a few other things done as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you want to support the Mind Colony's development, you can follow us, subscribe us, and become a Patreon. Um, I hope you had fun. Thanks everyone for joining in. Thanks for keeping us entertained and and joining us in the chat on the stream as well and i'm going to see you guys tomorrow at the same time again hopefully ciao ciao and good night everyone